Lisa. How are you and how's everybody? I'm so good to be here. <laughs> I'm very well, Dr. Kapus. I'm very happy to have you today. I mean, it's early morning there, but thank you for joining us today. Sure. We also have, yeah, we also have our uh, uh, lovely uh, guest of honor, Mr. Aman Batra here. Welcome, sir. How are you doing this morning? I think, Mr. Batra, you're on mute. Yeah, very good morning, Sancha. I'm audible now. Absolutely, you are. Yes, lovely. Batra. Welcome to the launch. Thank you. We'll just start in a couple of minutes, just waiting for the rest yeah. of our guests to join us. No problem. Thank you, Sanmita Ji, for that. Uh, we have uh, Shower Shora today, and also Anu has joined us. Good morning, ladies, and uh, so happy to see you both here today. Uh, good morning. I am just joining, setting it up. Give me one minute, please. Yeah? Absolutely. Absolutely. Chief Guest also on board. Ladies, uh, please uh, uh, welcome Mr. Pete. Good morning, sir. Good to have you in our launch today. Good morning, good morning. Just give me a minute. Absolutely. everyone agrees, uh, we'll proceed with our show today. Uh, Hina, can we have the show start please? Yes. Dangles hanging, kissing her skin. Bangles and touring, setting trains here. She wears her attitude bold and blonde. Even a tiny piece makes her flamboyant. Delicate gem, straight to embrace. With her jewelry, she carries her weight. A very good morning to one and all. I, Hina Sethi, on behalf of our founder, director, Dr. Hatin Arora, and National 
body of jewelry and gem sponsor WIPCI welcomes you all to the grand launch of our conference. The jewelry and gems industry is the oldest, even back to the times of Adam and Eve. So we women love jewelry. In India alone, it is a huge market of five lakh crore. It is the second largest foreign exchange earner industry, mainly due to the diamond cutting and polishing. It is continuously growing at a phenomenal rate. Having said that, last two years have been challenging because of the gold import policies imposed by the government. And at the same time, the pandemic. Interestingly, there are also favoring conditions for the boom and it's growing and expanding. It has around 3 lakh retailers around the country who are dealing in jewelry and gems. Primarily into the gold jewelry. The other metals, that is silver and diamond, has also been making its impact and carving its own secure place in this industry. But now, the times are changing. There's a joke going around in this industry. They say, if you have four sons, only then you can expand your business, because then you can have four showrooms, and that's why people are having more children just to become billionaires. Lucky, the times have changed and the perceptions have changed. Companies like Tanish by Tata's Reliance and entrepreneurs like Kalyan and Malabar Jewelers have changed the age-old belief of being the family business of some of the professionals joining into this industry. Choosing this as their career path, showcasing the major growth potential. The fact of the matter is that the digital world has changed the scenario, the outlook of this industry in a massive way. For instance, if there is a launch of some product in Cairo, we get the information next day from our comfort of our phone. So we, the Jewelry and Gems Council, needs to catch up with the pace of the changing times and changing pace of the consumer. There has been distinctive elements that you need to offer to the customer to attract them and make them interested and only then they will buy from a particular brand. National Jewelry and Gems Council, WICCI, is an endeavor to spread awareness about sustainable jewelry by encouraging our local handmade jewelry to integrate with our diversity by culture and creative artwork. Support women, entrepreneurs and local artisans in their rise and go global. We believe in promoting women entrepreneurs by giving them a powerful platform by being the change in the community. Spreading awareness about sustainable jewelry to blend change in this industry with the beauty of our soil. Our motto is being catalyst in going vocal for local artisans and also finding and creating an era of variety of hidden remote talents from our country. Indian jewelry is all about the art and the workmanship. It's a blend of our age-old traditions and the modern cutting age technology. India has an edge for making not only detail handicraft design, but our manufacturers and designers also makes top quality designs that matches our global taste as well. Now, I would like to share a small clip about our council and the importance of Indian jewelry. Shifali, can you just work on the audio, please? Request you to replay the audio. And making a mark for themselves. To further ensure that women continue to make a global impact, Vicky has taken upon its... I apologize. 
apologize. Uh, I would like to play the video again. Thank you so much. Women's Indian Chamber of Commerce and Industry. With an abundant supply of precious metal and gems, India's history with jewelry is almost as beautiful as its women. Predominantly worn by a female, jewelry bought in India is largely made by women themselves. Once known to be confined to their homes, today women are emerging as entrepreneurs and making a mark for themselves. To make a global impact, Vicky has taken upon itself to empower women owned businesses, thus enabling them to emerge successful. We, at the Jewelry and Gems Council, aim to take this initiative further by giving women a powerful platform to flourish. To do so, under the even guidance of our President and Vice President, this Council has been bifurcated further. The Jastin, equipped with a group of highly talented women, the Jazz team brings with them experience and oomph to dazzle. From ideas to agendas, they bring it on. The Dealmakers, dealing with policies, laws and reforms. These dealmakers Make no mistake in knowing right from wrong. These remarkable women ensure smooth processing and satisfactory conclusions to all. Trendsetters. This incredible team of women has a feel like no other. Whether it's the latest designs or what's trending, they know the need of the hour. Working closely with women entrepreneurs, this team ensures appropriate awareness about various artisans and their art. The Gurus Working really hard towards training and development, our amazing Gurus engage in mentoring and be the voice of women artisans all over the country. These extraordinary women guide, advise and keep things in order. Jeff's Council collectively engage in nationwide empowerment of artisans and women-owned businesses, thus supporting women to grow in their careers. Thank you. I would now like to invite our National Council President Sanjana Nayar to please share a few words for our clients, for our guests. Thank you, Hina. Good morning and a very warm welcome to all our esteemed guests today. I, Sanjana Nair, on behalf of our beloved founder, director, Dr. Hakeem Arora, and all council members, extend a warm welcome to our respected guests to the grand launch of our National Jewelry and Gems Council, WICCI. WICCI being an NGO solely run and for women entrepreneurs. It provides a platform for them to give, a, to give an identity to their passion. Jewelry and Gems Council, WICCI, is a sub-sector of this vision which endeavors to spread its reach of power to recognize and bring the true talent, art, and skill in regard to the jewelry industry from the remote places of India and presenting them on an international platform. We strive towards blending the sustainable jewellery with the mainstream jewellery. Every member receives a platform to reach out to the audience beyond borders and henceforth providing an opportunity to upsurge their business indirectly. Our artisans also get an open, open opportunity to portray their skills on our social handles, giving them visibility. National Jewelry and Gems Council, WICCI, is an endeavor to spread awareness about sustainable jewelry by encouraging our local handmade jewelry to integrate with our diversified cultural and creative artworks. 
support women entrepreneurs and local artisans in their rise and go global. We believe in promoting women entrepreneurs, giving them a powerful platform by being the change in the community, spreading awareness about sustainable jewelry to blend jewelry and gem industry with the beauty of soil. Our motto is being the catalyst in going local for local artists and also finding and creating an array of varieties of hidden remote talents from our country. It is an honor and privilege to share this moment with all our reward guests. To begin with, I welcome our chief guest, Mr. Ashish Pete, Chairman of Gems and Jewelry Council of India. All India Gems and Jewelry Domestic Council is a national trade federation which serves as a bridge between the government and the trade as well as undertaking various initiatives on behalf of and for the industry. Jewelry and Gems Council WICCI looks forward to have many more promising associations with GJC for the development of the women entrepreneur in the sector. I take this opportunity to encompass our happiness to have Mr. Aman Bhatta, the CEO of Lifestyle Magazine. Mr. Bhatta, being a visionary himself in the world of entrepreneurship, is the perfect example in, in saying sky is the limit. With an inspiring story of his entrepreneurial journey, he today rubrics the world's most loved and powerful brand with new subscription base with a sturdy intellectual property right. I welcome you, Mr. Batra, and looking forward to having exciting and all glittery alliance with this beautiful magazine, Lifetime. My heart fills with joy and delight in welcoming Dr. Anita C. Fowell, the Global Chair, G100 Oneness and Wisdom, a spoken word poet, a philanthropist, but more than anything else, I would like to introduce this beautiful woman like a mother figure to me and all my soul sisters in this community. My journey started because of you, Dr. Capris, and I am really indebted. Her blessing today is quintessential as we embark on this new journey. From the bottom of my heart, Dr. Capris, I welcome you. I consider myself to be fortunate to have my mentor my elder sister, my dearest India country chair, G100, Oneness and Wisdom, amongst us today, Anu Nagam Pali. She is an artist, author, extraordinary content creator. I wouldn't have been here if it was not for her, uh, you know, the spiritually healing book, The 3 AM Inspiration, Indebted for Lifetime and for You. I welcome to you, and I welcome you on this show today. Being a part of WICCI is a special in itself uh, and I realized this when I experienced the warmth and affinity that is expressed by our soul sister of this beautiful sister council. Shahwar Shahrar is one such example of shape, you know, when she showcased her extraordinary leadership qualities with her subtle yet intense aura. Shawar is the National President for Projects and Event Management Council. She is also the Chairperson of All Ladies League. I extend a warm welcome to you, Shawar. At the end, sorry, I'm saying thank you so much. Thank you. My honor, Shawar. And at the end, I would like to say that I'm humbly honored to have all of the authors here today amongst us. Thank you so much. Over to you, Hina. Thank you so much, ma'am, for your valuable words. Now, I would like to invite our very own beloved soul sister, our founder and director of WICCI, Dr. Harbeen Arora. Dr. Arora is the founder of free and all-inclusive platforms of G100, All Ladies League, Women Economic Forum, She Economy, and WICCI. With a powerful network of 250,000 women across 120 countries and growing towards a mission million 20
2022 via the eminent G100. These empowering ecosystems are among the largest global communities of women entrepreneurs and leaders. Organizing and onboarding the women worldwide on various platforms for maximum inclusion, inspiration, innovation, and impact. G100 is an eminent, empowered club of top 100 women leaders in the world with a vision for the future. G100 is an action plus think tank comprising a league of luminaries of eminence and excellence, including Nobel laureates. Former heads of state, ministers, business women, philanthropists, investors, entrepreneurs, corporates, and community leaders. A powerful group of women leaders and archivists from all the walks of life who wish to give back and move us all forward as the architects of future. A business leader with a great affinity for philanthropy, culture, and peace. Dr. Arora is a passionate about promoting ancient heritage and timeless wisdom, traditional handlooms and crafts, arts and culture, wellness and spirituality, international trade, tourism and child, business collaborations and partnerships, conflict resolution and peace building. She is the author of three books Life on the respective subjects of creative living, human mm -hmm. values and mm -hmm. higher education. Dr. Arora is a humanitarian who believes in the sacred oneness and interconnectedness of all with the vision of Vasudeva Kutumbuko, the ancient Indian ethos of the world as one family, an ardent devotee of Bhagwan Sri Satya Sai Baba. She seeks and strives to follow the guiding mantra of love all, serve all. Now, we would like to share a message from Dr. Hadi Arora. Hello everyone, congratulations on the launch of this very important Council of Chairman. The National Council, the State Council, well, welcome to Vicky everyone and I'm so looking forward to all your achievements. In short, we must have this council from this platform uh, take initiative to introduce the incentive for women owned businesses in the sector. We can see the research development and ask the incentive that we need to increase the share of women owned businesses in the global market, in the local market, enter into a range of initiatives such as creating awareness around brand building for women, how to put digital for women. Uh, how to introduce new and innovative products so that women can try, women who can try, and we can add new beauty and spirit to the world. Thank you, Dr. Arora, for your motivating words. I would like to invite a chief guest for today, Mr. Ashish Pete. Mr. Pete is a partner at Vaman Hari Jewelers, Mumbai and also the chairman of All India Gems and Jewelry Council. Gems and Jewelry Council of India has been instrumental in the business growth by 40 million gems and jewelry in India over the last five decades. From policy reforms and promoting programs imparting education through institutions for skill enhancement or bring new talents and opportunities. This council is leading right from the front, striving each day to make the industry countries pride to make India world's premium choice and destination for jewelry. All India Gems and Jewelry Domestic Council is a national trade federation for the promotion and growth of trade in gems and jewelry across India. It is a federation that has come together for managing various aspects of fair trade practices and efficient organization of business to ensure that gems and jewelry industry is able to uplift the standards and environment of the artisans and get the industry further organized and compliant to reach the smallest operator in the country and be able to maintain and sustain uh, the continuous continue to grow through Gems and Jewelry Council motto that is promote, protect and progress. I would like to call upon Mr. Ashish.
Ashish Petri to share a few words with us. Namaskar. Uh, good morning to everyone. And uh, firstly, uh, congratulations to all of you for the launch of uh, Julian Gems Council uh, under Wiki. Uh, congratulations to Sanjana ji, uh, Dr. Harjin Arola ji for this wonderful initiative. Uh, I must say I am a little uh, under pressure by so many powerful women on the screen looking at me. It is a little uh, me, but I will try my best. And uh, all the distinguished uh, people uh, present today, uh, uh, Mr. Aman Batra ji, uh, Dr. Anita Pawan ji, Anu uh, Nadim Palli ji, Recording uh, uh, Bina Unni Krishnan ji, and Sangeeta Gauba ji, along with all the uh, members of uh, Recording in Progress, William Gems uh, Council under the team. Uh, I'm so happy I was uh, uh, little surprised to get a call from Sanjana ji, the other day. Sir, you have to be there for the uh, launch. So I was so happy, uh, although surprised, but happy to be here today. Uh, because, uh, you know, past so many years, I've been in the industry for almost 30 years now. And uh, they have always said that women are our uh, main consumers and they are important to us. But it has gone upon the industry in last only few years that they are important part of the trade from inside also. They are the consumers and they are the, you know, uh, the machine behind uh, all these. And uh, generally, uh, the word which is used uh, very loosely and many times is empowering the women. But I think you are just powerful women who are empowering yourselves, uh, the industry. And uh, I would uh, like to quote our uh, Honorable Prime Minister. And he says that gems and jewelry are the gold. It gives the empowerment to the uh, woman in the lowest strata. So when she has mm -hmm. it built with her, it empowers her to stand firm. It empowers her to face difficulties in life whenever they appear. So we, we assume that jewelry is only for adornment, but I think it's important to understand that the jewelry also uh, empowers the woman. And uh, you people are doing an extraordinary job. You have taken the uh, first and most important step of getting all the women in the gems and jewelry industry together and forming uh, a council. Uh, so I think the congratulations are due. Uh, in, in my introduction, you rightly said that uh, All India Gem and Jewelry Domestic Council uh, is a council which works for the domestic industry and our motto states uh, progress, protect and promote. So for us, protecting the industry members, protecting all the verticals, all the full value chain of the industry is important. Uh, and uh, our ethos is that we want to communicate with the government and uh, many a time what we have realized is that, that uh, the government's intentions are absolutely fine. Their uh, you know, intentions in getting a law is absolutely correct. But many a times the ground level compliance has become an issue. So engage with the government trying to get the uh, best solution out of both things where the government's intention is also done and compliance wise on the ground it becomes very easy to implement the laws. And uh, progressing, I think. Uh, recording stuff. Uh, recording in progress. Unless and until you, you know, uh, improve your own knowledge, improve your processes, nothing can be achieved. So from the council, we always have seminars uh, called Labham, which is for uh, uh, for the even tier two, tier three towns along with the metros, where we give uh, our members, uh, you know. And knowledge about latest compliance issues, latest laws, what things are changing, how to improve the business uh, practices and all other things. And thirdly, promote. Because unless and until you have interaction among the industry and you have, uh, you know, uh, promotion inter se, things will not move. So we have our uh, exhibitions like uh, Gem and Jewelry Show, which is happening in uh, Mumbai, or we have uh, uh, smaller shows in regionally in tier to tier three towns. So we are promoting that knowledge. So I can extend our full support from the council to the newly formed uh, women's uh, gem and jewelry council. And uh, we would like to involve your members 
in all our programs uh, in uh, promotion maybe your uh, members want to join us in uh, any of our exhibitions or in terms of progressing we can have special seminars for your members we have our uh, women members and we have a national jewelry awards which we do every year last 12 years we have been doing it and there we have a special award for women entrepreneurs already uh, happening so you can uh, your team can also uh, recording start participate in that and uh, i'm sure uh, the council which is launched today recording in progress will go a long way in improving and uh, you know motivating uh, more women to join the industry as entrepreneurs rather than consumers and i wish you all the best and thanks for having me here namaskar thank you sir ashish pekhi for your kind words now i would like to invite our guest of honor mr aman batra mr aman batra is the ceo of lifestyle magazine lifestyle magazine is a global magazine headquartered in india recording staff and published by bbc for asia north america south america europe oceania and africa each issue is full of fashion this selling the seasonal fashion and beauty must have an emerging trends for readers who want to be inspired and in the know it also features user generated content in the form of tips communication forums polls contests and other interactive articles lifestyle magazine is the golden thought and more readable the snippety juicy content it raises issues engages the community and gives a strong point of view on issues that matters and shape opinions mr saman batra is the ceo of lifestyle magazine a serial entrepreneur branding guru and a media mogul he is a bcom mba llb and has a rich career span of 20 years in the media line his work is recognized and appreciated by many benchmark authorities worldwide mr batra mentors many budding entrepreneurs helps many corporates to reposition build brands and grow in the sales and is a growth consultant consultant to many of us on my issues please welcome mr saman batra thank you shia thank you shia for so kind words but a very beautiful morning to everyone and my special thanks to the director of the mr ashish pp and grandson air for inviting me as a guest right am i audible recording in progress yes the other day i went to the website of wicci and it's really doing wonderful in the women empowerment the organization is helping women to reach the skies to improve the domain it is truly a catalyst in going vocal for local and creating an array of talent in the country as wicci is providing a platform to women to identify their passion and encourage entrepreneurship among them women are already strong as we know as they are wonderful multitaskers full of intuition and with awesome managerial skills even in corporate if you give a job to the women it will do it with more responsibility with better outcome even in my own organization of work at globe other than me my whole staff is good there was a time when masculine element was very much needed in the entrepreneurship sector so there was a big role for men but now there is a time and there is a need for more people skills managerial skills and better communication skills in which women need and there is a need for the art that we all as a strong people system just make the women aware about their super power as while doing the routine work sometimes they forget about the part which they possess and let's make this world more amazing with these amazing precious women who have the power to create nurture and grant thank you so much thank you thank you so much sir for sharing thank you, so thank you thank you so much sir for sharing your thoughts with us now our next guest of honor is dr anita c powell founder tap into you movement llc empowerment to spoken word poetry foundation muaa all g100 global chair oneness and wisdom dr anita she is the creative director of enjoy poetry and music academy she enjoys her work as an advocate writer international spoken word artist and a professional speaker her message is all about recognizing and embracing we are a human and divine when we trust in who we see in the mirror then we can begin to trust in the life force our intuition within 
that the mantra of her message. Dr. Anita believes in partnership, collaborating in achievement of intentions, as she says, catching dreams, weaving them into manifestations, and helping another to reach the peak of their dream, and is reaching the pinnacle of her own. As a metaphysician, she facilitates seminars, workshops, and classes designed to enhance inner self-recovery, that is, by acceptance, assurance, and awareness, reuniting us with our intimate calling. Dr. Anita is a reverend and has a doctorate in metaphysical sciences. She is certified in several CAM modalities and is a Usoi Master Reiki practitioner. She is a graduate at University of Metaphysics, Universal Coach Institute, and National Institute of Technology. talent and treasure domestically, nationally and globally. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for the lovely and vibrant Dr. Anita Powell. Oh, oh, thank you, thank you so much. What a wonderful introduction. Oh, first of all, I just want to say congratulations, congratulations, Sanjana, and all of you, National Jewelry and Gems Council. This is a, a wonderful, wonderful accomplishment. You know, there are many destinations in life, and our, our life is our love, imagination, our faith, expression, and what a wonderful way to express our extended personality is by way of jewelry. Jewelry helps us to, to enhance our personality, to enhance our beauty, to enhance our, our, our self-esteem, to, and again, to, to be a part of who we are. When we wear our jewelry, we were say, I am a I am Sanjana. I am a new. I am all of us here as, as one as we represent the beauty. So this is just so wonderful. This is a beautiful platform and I love the mission. Vocal for local artisans. That is absolutely phenomenal. I, I and I just want to say again, just just being brief and to the point, congratulations. I just pray and I know that God is going to continue to bless all of you always and in always because what you've created is an empowering platform for women to flourish, to grow, to express themselves, and to be financially independent. God bless I need you. To and see I you. Keep thank it you, my beautiful sister, Sanjana, mm -hmm. and thank you all of you. Here. Okay, not really. 
Okay. Okay. Good morning, everybody. I am Mrs. Pooja Lodha. I am an MBA gold medalist. Uh, I repeat, I am a university topper. A small round of cheer for my gold medal, please. Yay! Okay. Thank yes. you. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you. Actually, uh, my uh, blood group is A plus. <laughs> this is how I did it. आप क्या तारीफ करो सबकी कामयाबी मेरे रग रग में दौड़ रही है तो आफ्टर अ स्मॉल सेशन ऑफ सेल्फ एप्रिसिएशन आई कम बैक टू माई इंट्रोडक्शन आई डिड माई मास्टर्स एम बी ए विथ एच आर इज माई मेजर एंड करेंटली आई एम मैनेजिंग द बेस्ट ह्यूज रिसोर्स ऑफ माई लाइफ अग्रोन ऑफ अडल्ट एंड टू टीन एजर्स अटल कॉम्बिनेशन इन डीज सो एनी विच वेज मेरे फर्स्ट सैल्यूटेशन से आप सबको समझ में आ गया होगा दैट आई एम अ मारवाड़ी अ मारवाड़ी बाई हार्ट अ मारवाड़ी बाई सोल एनी मारवाड़ी इज इन द हाउस प्लीज नो सॉरी आई एम हाफ मारवाड़ी हाफ बुच्चू Oh, I have oh. two sisters. I have two soul sisters in the house today. A big round of applause for all the Marwaris in the house, please. We deserve it, and I will give my clarification why we deserve it. So, for all of those who don't know who is a Marwari, here I am to present you a brief introduction. A Marwari, who is he? Marwari, who is he? Whose house, if a package of paper comes in? और हम उसको काट के देखें कि नीचे के दो पापड़ अगर टूट गए हैं हम उसे फेंकते नहीं हैं हम उसकी सब्जी बनाते हैं जी हाँ मारवाड़ी हाउस होल्ड में पापड़ की सब्जी बनती है बिकॉज आर फूड इज आर लाइफ वी रेलिश आर फूड ओके एंड जिस रिसेंटली लेडीज Uh, I'm not very active on my social media, but as and when uh, I have opened my social media account, uh, you know the few uh, ads that have popped up. I'm sure many of you must have also gone through this. You know they say a uh, time management portal. Join this course, and we are going to you know make you learn how to utilize your time effectively and efficiently, and you will be the master of your time and all that. Uh, एक राय दू मत ज्वाइन करना नॉट दैट दीज पॉसेस आर नॉट गुड अफकोर्स आफ्टर ऑल लाइफ इज अबाउट टाइमिंग राइट जी सिंपल है मारवाड़ी घरों में ना सुबह चाय के साथ पार्ले जी बिस्किट और रस सॉरी माई फॉल्ट आई बोलो जाए वी डोंट कॉल इट रस हम उसे टोस्ट कहते हैं सो so, सुबह चाय के साथ पार्ले जी बिस्किट और टोस्ट खाया जाता है और मजाक है ना ही हमारा बिस्किट और ना ही हमारा टोस्ट कुछ भी चाय में नहीं डूबता है टाइम मैनेजमेंट ले लिए व्हाट डू ऑल से है ना ये टाइम मैनेजमेंट कोर्सेस ज्वाइन करने से पहले मेरी एडवाइस के बारे में सोचना जरूर करेक्ट एनीवे नाउ यू ऑल नो मी सो इफ यू इफ एनी वन ऑफ यू वुड लाइक टू इन्वाइट मी फॉर मील Please feel free because I am free. I have ample of time. You can invite me. But if at all a Marwadi friend of yours, if he invites you for a meal, there are just two things that you need to expect. Okay. First of all, Marwadi me kahavat hai. Main isko aap logon ke liye Hindi mein translate karungi. They say ki ham pehle khana nazron se jeette hain, fir usse muh mein bolte hain. It's like So, if at all you visit a Marwari household for a meal, the color of your food will be red and only red. And जैसे ही आप अपनी उंगलियाँ उस खाने में डालेंगे, आपको अपने दिल से आवाज आएगी कि एक राजस्थान के सूखे से रेगिस्तान में मानो बाढ़ आ गई है, पानी की नहीं, घी की. Am I right, lady? I am sure. ना तो आपने रेलिस्ट किया ही होगा एंड आई एम श्योर मोस्ट ऑफ आस मस्ट हैव प्लेड द गेम ऑफ ट्रूथ एंड डेयर आई एम श्योर इज देर एनीबडी हु डजेंट नो द गेम 
most of us must have played this game ladies yes yes so if you happen to play this game with any of your marwadi friends and if your friend chooses a dare usko ek dare dena aur wo dare dena ki tu ek din ke liye apni dukaan band kar le <laughs> and then you see then you see you no know, what your marwadi friend is going to answer you कि मैं आज भी आउट ऑफ सिलेबस क्वेश्चंस को आंसर नहीं करता और तुम इस गेम में बहुत चीटिंग करते हो लास्टली एंड द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट इफ एट ऑल यू वांट टू इंप्रेस अ मारवाड़ी आई रिपीट लेडीज इफ एट ऑल बिकॉज वी आर नॉट
they just uh, it, this is uh, this is another every every one of the guests and uh, Sanjana told me I have to speak. I said why? I'm just here as an audience. Uh, so basically, I just said you know I'm I'm an artist. You know I, my career started as a uh, at 18 years old as an interior designer. Then uh, I became an art, I'm a master's in architecture. But most of all, I think I want to be remembered as somebody who makes a difference through my uh, art. Um, I want, like you said, art to wear. That that's that's basically what uh, what my legacy uh, is, and mostly because I'm healing, you know, I'm healing uh, because I believe. Art heals, uh, and I've been experience of that um, throughout my life. Uh, and I feel like art has healed me first. So, <clears throat> and throughout, um, you know, there we all go through this beautiful uh, wave of life. And mine, um, I have, uh, I have met some amazing people, basically taught me something uh, that has just uh, enhanced uh, what, uh, what was in me uh, and all this brought out what was in and that was this uh, love for colors love for um, healing colors, healing art um, and uh, you know, and words and you know, I started late you know, late uh, as far as people are concerned so anybody who had a a very slow childhood where you know that like your mom would say oh she's slow you know she she doesn't you know leave her alone kind of thing just ignore all that garbage because <laughs> uh, there's no such thing as late i mean i'm in my 50s and i'm celebrating it more than it. i want everybody to know that i'm dancing in my 50s i'm i'm singing i'm i'm you know my true colors are coming so that's what I'm talking about. Women, this is why I, I say, you know, Sanjana, you're my daughter, because I, I know how difficult it, it was in, in, your, in your 30s and 40s. And Recording stopped. 20s, or, you know, so, and so. It, but then the next one is accept it. It'll, I'll give you a million dollars every single one of you, a million dollars right there. Check. Who is ready to actually accept it? Only the ones who think they are deserving of themselves. And when you accept it and say, yeah, this is mine, that's when 
it will come to you because that's when things will start happening to you because then you open the door and said yeah you know what i'm ready please come abundance you can call it abundance you can call it extraordinary but please come and um i was frankly i had a totally different speech plan here but <laughs>
Good morning everyone. I am Mrs. Monica Jashropia, a very simple and a spiritual person. I started my career as an educator and presently I am pursuing my career as a freelancer with the healthcare industry based in Pune. And I am also a panic healer, healing uh, souls and helping people come out of their dark zones. Simple living and high thinking is my motto. Thank you so much. I think they 
is some network glitch for calling. Uh, Sapna, can we help you? Good morning, all ladies. Uh, thank you for giving me this wonderful opportunity to introduce myself to all of you. And I'm very glad that I've been associated with such talented and experienced person in this platform. I am Sapna Vish. I have done my MBA in HR and marketing. I've been I've been training. Uh, uh, I've been working as a trainer in Bhopal for around two and a half years, and worked as an educator, teaching course grads and applicants. I believe in self-discipline, and as like uh, learned like self-motivation is the main thing that really worked for me. And uh, I always believe that the human touch is very much necessary to solve any of the challenges that we face because. Empathy goes a long way, uh, more than the sympathy. That I always believe, and uh, I hope to uh, learn from all beautiful and talented ladies from here. And one thing I just want to say from my heart that I was, I am like now at 40 plus. So I was, I always try to upskill myself, and I was, I was always thinking, no, be more late, or yeah, like I am 40 plus, so I'm not.
and uh, I would like to thank Sanjana for giving me that little extra push because uh, I never thought how I could contribute to uh, this uh, forum. And uh, today I got the sign from the universe, I think, uh, through uh, Ms. Uh, Nadin Pali's uh, message that, you know, there is something extraordinary in you and you just have to search for it <laughs> and it's there. So thank you. Shriya Shama, founder of Brand Shriya Sindhika, please. My brand promotes and curates 
thank you ma'am thank you all of you again i have to tell you uh, you know my my mom uh, all my life she would be at least wear bangles see i don't even wear bangles and i'm here with this uh, jewelry and gem so like guys i'm here